Hey, welcome back everybody to my Hidden Agenda Good Choice playthrough. And we're picking up where we left off. I had to make sure my phone was charged before I hop right in. As you know, this game is unique in that you actually play it with your phone. So it's a very unique twist. Um, and I really love it. It, it kind of brings a different a new genre of game, social gaming, where you can actually play this with friends. And I am going to definitely play this multiplayer this weekend live stream, so you'll see that too. Um, but let's hop right in. Yeah, you're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far, it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? Well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Flissy. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think... I think there's something there. Judge thinks so, too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, 
So when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, uh, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas, he hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. 
Oh God, please help me, please. What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a hit and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was uh, just doing my job. And um, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh oh, mama bear's got a temper. Watch out. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. Psh. The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with? All right, I've heard enough. Thank you, everyone, for hearing me out. And thank you for eating up our entire afternoon with this shit. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that... Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. A rat trap? Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Oh, I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them? LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. 
the cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target, Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Calvary's just got to stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town. Okay. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? We got a problem. What? It was a cop. What? What happened? I was still trying to put that together. A call came in and there was a body. Responders showed up, body was rigged. Trap was down. Police? Who? How? It's cavalry. What? No, that doesn't ha That's ridiculous. It's still sorting through the mess. Becky. Oh my God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. 
from when we could piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. <sighs> Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And Officer Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> That's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Anything? Nothing useful. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? I, uh... I spent the night, or uh, the evening, with Felicity Graves, going over files. All night? Yeah? So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself! I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart! This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. All right, guys, we're gonna end uh, part two right here. It was, this is really good. I'm really loving what they did. They really stepped it up uh, from Until Dawn into this one. So if you're a fan of Until Dawn, you'll love this game. All right, guys, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in part three, okay?